Welcome back programmers, Guillaume here. In today's episode of the Pure Basic 101 series, I will continue the presentation of the Pure Basic editor. But today I will focus on the text editor. So this first video will be about navigation in the text, navigation between the files, standard navigation or special navigation, as well as selection. How do you select text, standard selection and special selection? What I mean by standard or special is standard, mostly it can be used in any other text editor or source editor. But the special edition or special navigation is a set of special features that you can find only in pure basic. So let's have a look. First, standard navigation. Okay, here you know you have this blinking cursor. That's where you can input text. If I were to type text right now, it will input the text right here. This is a blinking cursor and I can move the cursor using the arrows. I can move left, right, down, up, very basic. I can use the page up and page down to move page by page in my file so it lets you move faster okay you go faster to where you want to go page up page down also you can use the home and end keys home you go to the beginning of the line and you go to the end of the line that's pretty easy but always have to have a, a reminder now you can modify those with the control key and look what it does if you do that with the left and right, you will move left and right word by word. Here I've skipped the two parentheses and here I go to the beginning of the word. Let me find a row with more words like here. Control right. Up, up. It moves word by word to the right. And then same for the left. Control left. It moves word by word to the left. Okay, you would tell me, but control up and down. It does not the same. Control up and down behave just like the arrows of your scroll bar here and here. If I click up here, it scrolls up without moving the cursor. Well, control up does exactly the same. And down scrolls down, just as if you were using the down key, the down arrow here. Okay, control up, control down just to scroll. If you are, let's say, at the beginning of the screen up there and you want to have your cursor in the middle, control up and you put the line, current line, without moving the cursor in the middle of the screen. And you can use the control key with the home and end keys, of course. Control home will move you to the beginning of the file and control end. To the end of the file. Very useful if you want to move very fast. You can also navigate between files, open files. Here each open file is open in a separate tab, okay? Snake, project, SIP, etc. And you can use the control tab shortcut to move from tab to tab, from left to right. You can use control tab. Here I'm going to move from snake to project. Control tab main, control tab save as, and if I hit control tab on the last one, I go back to the first one, snake. Okay, control tab, tab, tab. So it's a very quick way to move between open files. And you can use the same trick to move the other way. Control shift tab. Okay, control shift tab, you will move left here from the save as to the main to the project. To the snake. If I'm on the first tab and I hit Ctrl Shift tab, I go back to the last file, last tab. Okay, that's for the standard navigation. Now, what about the special navigation? Well, you have some shortcuts that you can find in the edit menu here. These shortcuts here, I will talk also about these shortcuts here. Ctrl G. If you know exactly, let's say you have an error message and it gives you a line number and you want to move fast to this line number, you hit Ctrl G. Unfortunately, my window opens here, but if I were to type 152, boom, 
the editor gets me to the 152nd line. Very easy. What else? Control K. This is very nice. Look at that. You know keywords, sometimes they go in pair or in triplets, like procedure with end procedure, or if, else, else if, end if, they go together. Well, the control K will navigate to the matching keyword. Procedure, if I hit control K, I go to the end procedure. And control K, go back to the procedure. Same thing if I go on the if, right here, I hit control K, I go on the else, control K, I go on the else if. It would be the same if um, I had an else if, it will also go to the else if. Let's look at a select. I know I have one right here. Select, the nice thing about this control K is that you can go from case to case. Look, control K, first case, control K, second case, third case, fourth case, etc. And N select and control K, I go back to the select. So control K is very useful if you want to go back and forth or uh, through the different matching keywords of an expression. Very useful. Control L. L stands for last. It will navigate to the last line you have navigated to in the history. So if you have used the shortcut to navigate to a specific line, Control K or Control G, uh, G, then Control L will move you to the last one. Here I'm on the select. Control L gets me to the end select. Control L to the case. I will then control to the end if to the procedure. So it's not working very well with the control K. I would expect to go back exactly uh, to, the, to the history, but at least you can find this way uh, where you were at uh, the last uh, navigation. Talking about navigation, special navigation in Pure Basic. If you have a function call like this and you want to see what the isNextCell procedure is doing, you can, of course, go in the tools, procedures here and look for the is next cell, but you can control double click the procedure call name here and it will navigate to the procedure definition. Control double click. And here I am in the is next cell procedure. Very nice. Again, is next cell. Boom, is next cell procedure. So it's a very fast way when you have a function or procedure call to go to the procedure that is called. Control double click. What else? You know, sometimes you can include files using the include file or x include file or include binary um, commands. Well, you have this double click feature as well in, in those. You can open, see the sip resize.pbf. If I double click on the include file, it opens the file and navigates to it directly. Very easy, very practical. But if you're using, that, that works for the X include file as well. And of course, it needs to have a string literal here. If you have a constant or if you are using a variable, it will not work. Include binary, it will open the file, yes, but in a separate in the file viewer tool. You see here you have the file viewer. You can open binary files. This will do this. Here, just for the sake of the example, I replace the include file by include binary. If I control, if I double click, it opens the file viewer with my SIP batch resize file open here. If I were to have put a picture, for example, a PNG, this would work. Also, what you can do if you want to um, I would say facilitate uh, the navigation within a file. Maybe you want to put some bookmarks. You are always using the isNext cell procedure. You want to put a bookmark on this one to, to be able to navigate to this uh, procedure fast. You can put bookmarks, they're called markers in uh, Pure Basic with the Control F2 shortcut. Well, you can see it. You can't see it here because there is the folding stuff here, but Control F2 on this line. This will put a nice little blue arrow here. Okay, that's a marker. Control F2 will toggle a marker on the line. You can see in the edit menu, Control F2, add or remove marker. 
Then I can put another one anywhere here, let's say. So here, Control F2. Another break, uh, marker here, maybe another one here. And then if I hit F2, I will navigate from marker to marker. Here, F2. Okay, I go back to the this one, then F2, then F2, and then it goes, you know, from one marker to the other. Of course, I can remove a marker using Control F2, it will toggle it, but I can use the Edit Clear Marker, and this will remove all markers in a file. You don't navigate from, from one file to another using markers, markers are just within one file. Okay, that's for standard navigation and special navigation. Now let's talk about selection. So, standard selection. Well, I'm sure you already know, but if you, you can select, of course, with the mouse. You click, you drag, it will select the text. But you can select with the cursor using the shift key. If you uh, maintain the shift key pressed and you move with the arrows it will select the text from where you started to where you the cursor actually is see how I'm moving up down right of course if you reach the end of the line it goes to the next one left so that's selection you can do the same with the page down, page up page down it will select page per page Okay, of course you can do the same with control and the arrow key. You remember control left moves word by word, control right word by word. If you add the shift in there, control shift left, you will select word by word. Oops. Control A will select all. The whole content of the file, control A you have everything selected. And of course, I was talking about the mouse. If you double click on a word, it will select this word. This is selected, this is selected, this is selected, etc. <laughs> okay. And finally, the uh, special selection. What is special about selection? Well, in Pure Basic, there is one specific feature for selection. If you have your cursor here, let's say I'm, I want to select the whole block of enumeration here, all the constants, I can do Control M. Control M again. Basically, Control M will select the inside of a block, and it, every time you hit Control M again, it will uh, include the outer block. I'm not sure it's I'm really clear. So let's try here on this. Control I have my cursor here on the end. Control M selects the end. Control M again select the case. Control M again select the whole select. Control M again select the inside of the repeat. Control M again will select the whole repeat and Control M again will select the whole macro. So it's kind of expanding from uh, inside to the from the inside to the outside of the blocks selecting the whole block control M and you can use control shift M to go in the other direction okay control M expands control shift M narrows the selection from where you started so that's the special selection you can find those Control M shortcuts. No, they are not here, so you have to know them. Okay, and that's it for this video. We covered the navigation and selection within the source code editor of Pure Basic. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the whole stuff. Thank you all for watching. I will see you very soon.